Hey guys, so I just finished doing my makeup today and I already have everything laid out so I figured I would just go ahead and fill my makeup basket for you. Um, so I have everything laid out. I'm going to finish up this last sip of coffee and then we'll get into it. So, Alright, here we go. So if you've never seen one of these before, I film them at the end of two weeks. I rotate through my makeup every two weeks. But I film it at the end of the two weeks so I can tell you how I use the things. What I liked, what I didn't like, just reviews, just I can add more to it instead of saying, you know, I'm going to use this, this, and this, you know, like I can add more to it. So I'm going to start with my eyes. I do my eyes first when I do my makeup. For eyeshadow primer, the Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer, I love this. Cruelty free, drugstore, really works great. Definitely check it out. It's less than $5, so yeah. Um, I use my Pan That Palette, of course. This is the Tarte Matte Nificent. It's all matte palette, so I use that for the normal matte things. I just did a Pan That Palette update, too, so I will link that down below for you. Um, and then for the past two weeks, I've been using my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette, which isn't usually, like, my favorite palette, um, but I really have learned to use it in, you know, found looks. And so this one, I'm usually, like, a warm neutral, I guess more of a neutral um, toned eyeshadow person so this is what it looks like um, but I did find some looks out of here so I really enjoyed using YDK which is I have it on my outer third today so here's a swatch of it here it's kind of like a purpley pink shimmer um, what else did I like I liked Verve which is a light kind of silver shade um, and that one I would layer over a lot because I felt like these shadows kind of got a little bit dark and muddy So I'd put verve on top and it would always make it look nice suspect was nice um, It was kind of more of a bronzier taupe. It's right there. And then I also liked chopper Which is definitely like chunky glittery. So I'd use my um, eye crayon From essence over top. It's right there at the top and then also of course booty call which is just a perfect, like, quick, one-and-done light lid shade. So those are the shades I really liked. Um, so I just thought I would mention that. What I think I might want to do is um, start taking pictures. I know Daylene, when she does her one-month, one palette, kind of does, like, clips of her eye look. So I figured maybe I could do, like, pictures or something like that, and I could put them at the end of these videos. Maybe let me know what you think about that down below. I'll do my best. We'll see. Um, so yeah, I, like I mentioned, I've been using my eye crayon a lot. This is the Essence 2-in-1 Eyeshadow in Liner and Waterproof. I have mine in the shade 03, Light Me Up, which is the lightest. There are four shades. Um, they've got like a dark black or like a brown. Um, they have this one. They have kind of like a golden one. Definitely check them out. They're really great. I like that it's a crayon. I like that it's twist up. I like that it's cruelty free. I like that it's drugstore. Um, it's like a tackier base. I do, so when I do it, I like draw this on my eye and I kind of tap it in so it's not so harsh. And then I do this eye's eyeshadow and then I do the other one. Like I like to just do one at a time. I can't, I don't know, it doesn't work as well um, when you do both. So that's just something to keep in mind. For eyeliners, same to the Laura Geller Incredible Waterproof Gel Eyeliner in Fade to Gray. It's going well. It's kind of like a dark charcoal color. And then the Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner in Nude. This is great. I need to sharpen it, but it's great. I use that every day. So for mascaras, I've been using the Essence Lash Princess mascaras, and I've really, really been liking them. Um, I've just kind of alternated whichever one I grab. Today I have the orange one, the volumizing one on. I really like it. It has more of a curved wand. Um, they're both natural bristle brushes, but this one has kind of like an S shape on it almost. Works really well. Um, and then the kind of green one, the full lash, lash effect is just a straight want um straight shaped one but they're both really nice i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to use like one for a week straight and then the other one so i can get more of an opinion on the individual ones um because i like them both but i don't know which one i like more or anything like that so i feel like if i used maybe like the orange one next week and then the green one the week after then for my next makeup basket i'd have more to say on each individual one so i think i'm going to try that um for brows i'm still using the anastasia dip brow pomade in blonde and then to set that, I usually use the um, Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel in Blonde as well. But I did pick up a new product. Um, this is the Essence Make Me Brow. It's kind of like a dupe for the Gimme Brow. So it has a super tiny wand and it has fibers in it. Um, so it's, I mean, it's teeny tiny. But I have been experimenting with it and I have some things to share. So I like it for when I don't use the pomade in my brow. So if I use like a pencil or a pomade to already fill my brows, 
personally, this is the lightest shade. I just feel like it gets too dark on me. Um, but I do really like it if I'm not going to use something like this just to like quick what, you know, like once through your brows. I love it for that. So um, I've tried to use it like kind of as a gel over this and it's not my favorite, but I do really like it on its own. It gives definition. Um, it tints your brow so it gives you some color. Um, it's definitely easy to use. It's a little bit wet so you do have to like, you know, let it dry and everything. But I really do like this alone. I just don't like it on top of a product like this. So yeah, I've been, I've been liking that and just for days where I'm like quick need to just like leave. I'll put on like a powder foundation and that and mascara and I'm, I look fine. So, um, yeah, that's kind of what I've been using that way. Um, so, okay, moving on to like face products. I have a few primers out right now and I really just kind of want to cut down on primers. So I'm trying to like use them. Um, I have my Becca Evermatte Pro's Primer for Perfector and this one I kind of like, I'm starting to feel mixed about. I like it, but I feel like I still get oily with it. Um, so I'm not sure if it's really worth it right now I don't know like I kind of want to do something where like I put on this half of my face and leave this half without it and just wear my makeup and kind of like check in throughout the day um so I think I might just do that for myself I I don't know if you want to see a video I guess I could do that too but um yeah I'm just not really sure how I feel about that one right now um I also have been using my mirrored invisibler um perfecting shield primer I do like this one as kind of like a silicone primer, so I do think that it's nice. It has SPF 30 in it, so I mean, this is an expensive product, and I have a lot left, so I'm just trying to like kind of use this. This might just become like my everyday primer um, until I use it up. Um, I also am really still using the Scandinavia Makeup um, Primer, oil, or not oil, but spray. I like this. It's for oil control. I think it's a great quick primer. Um, and then I am using up this sample of the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I still haven't, like, for my thoughts. I'm using it a different way today than I have in the past. I'm kind of waiting to see what happens. Um, but, yeah, I'm working on that. Okay, so for my face, like my foundation, I've been using my Laura Geller um, Balance and Brighten Foundation in Medium. The top broke off, but this is all I have left. Um, and it's getting to the point where it's really, really difficult for me to pick up just because it's so thin around the edges. So I think I'm going to call this done, especially because it's getting too dark for my skin right now, too. Um, I can give you a swatch. I mean, it's even hard for me to get a swatch because of where it's at. So it's on my arm right there. Um, so you can see it's getting a little bit too dark for me. And I feel like I've used, I mean, I've used this. It was, I mean, it was full. So I think I'm going to be done with this one. Um, I did order a couple of things off of Glambot, which is like a like place where you can buy like pre previously used. It's like a makeup like blog sale, but like an actual website. Um, so I did pick up a new powder foundation for that. So I'm waiting for that to come in. But um, yeah, I think I'm going to retire that one and put it in my empties. But I have been using a liquid foundation. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. Um, it fits me really well right now. It's the Fairlight Neutral, something like that. It's the neutral one. It looks darker in here than it is, but it matches me really well right now. And I've had this for about a year. I remember buying it last year, and I don't have that much left in it. I'm about down to here, so just that much. So I'm just trying to kind of use it up and, um, you know, so I can move on to something else. So I've been using that. And then for concealers, I've been using my Pixi Under Eye Brightening Corrector. Um, and I actually hit the bottom of the glass. You probably can't even tell. I'm sure next time there'll be more, but I finally hit the bottom of the class. It's like a big success for me. I love that stuff. For concealers, I am using the NYX HD Concealer in Beige for like blemishes. I have two on my chin, one that I picked at, so of course it, you know, flared up, and one I slept on my makeup one night, so I woke up with a white head. At this point, my skin is so like accustomed to me always taking my off my makeup, where if I do sleep on my makeup, 100% will have like a big white head on my face. So anyway, I've been using this for face blemishes and then I've been mixing it with the NYX HD and Fair, which is just a little bit too bright. So I put two dots of this Fair under each eye and then one dot of the beige under each eye and I blend that for my under eye concealer just to like kind of keep it a little bit, a little bit toned down so it's not like stark white. Um, so I've been using those. I love those concealers. I will always repurchase. Um, okay, so for powders, I am using three right now, which seems super high maintenance. I have the same, the sa sample, sample of the NARS um, light, reflect, light Reflecting Setting Powder. I can't talk in the loose. I've been using this under my eyes. It's all right. Um, it's okay. I like it, but I don't think it's like the end all be all. I want to try the e.l.f. one. 
Um, so I'm just trying to use this up, but since it's a sample, it'll last me a while, of course. Um, and I'm only using it under my eyes. I have the Tarte Smooth Operator. This is my holy grail setting powder um, for my face. If you have oily skin combination skin, just need a powder to really last, this is your guy. So I've been using that. And I've also been using my Ben Nye Luxury Powder and Cameo a bit more. Um, I've been setting my primer, which is something Wayne Goss kind of mentioned a while ago, and I remembered it. And so I've been doing that, and I've really been liking the effects of that. I feel like my makeup lasts longer. I don't get as oily throughout the day, um, just because I have an extra layer of powder. And then if I were to bake at all, sometimes I bake my T-zone if I'm like really going to be wearing my makeup for a long time and need to stay extra matte. This is what I used to bake. So I've been using this more, and I'm really glad because it was sitting in my collection for a while not being used. So I'm glad I have a use for it now. Okay, so for bronzer, I'm still using my Chocolate Soleil bronzer from my Too Faced palette. Um, it's just the regular one. It's down here. Um, I've been using it with a big fluffy brush. I feel like it doesn't look too stark or anything like that. It just adds some, you know, life back into my skin. And then for my contour, I've been using the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder, which is right here. I love this stuff. I always talk about it. And then I've also been using this white eyeshadow down here. It's called Brighten. Um, it's kind of, it's more of like a highlighter, but I've been using it in my inner corner this past two weeks because I didn't really have a shade in here that was like, I like a bold inner corner highlight, but not so bold that like, it's like reflecting off of, you know, anything, but like, I don't know, just nothing in here was doing it for me. So I used that. Um, okay, so for blushes, I have still been kind of using my cream blushes. These are the Becca Beach tints. Really like them. Um, I just, like, if I don't, if I'm kind of, like, kind of just doing my makeup to, like, be out the door, then I don't use them. But this is Raspberry and this is Watermelon. They're both really great. I definitely recommend them. I have one more, but these are the two that I've kind of been focusing on for summer. I'll have my Seven Summer Flings update finale here soon. It was kind of a fail, but whatever. Um, for blushes, I've been, I have three in my, you know, bag that I've been kind of alternating through. Mostly I use these two though. So this is the Tarte Blushing Bride. Um, it's what I have on my cheeks today. I don't have it on very heavy or anything though. But this is what it looks like. It's just like a blushing kind of, I don't know, berry shade. But, um, it's not super pigmented, which is perfect for people like me. So that's it right there. It's just like a mauve berry. The other one I have is the the Balm in Stain blush, and this is in Houndstooth. It's a very similar color, a little bit more purple and a little bit darker though. Um, and this one is nice. It does really last all day. I wouldn't say it necessarily stains your skin, but that's it right there. So that's Blushing Bride. That's the Houndstooth. And then the last one I pulled out. This is my all-time favorite blush. It's Tarte's Peaceful. I've talked about this so many times. I just pulled it out because I wanted something a little bit lighter some days too. And um, yeah, so this is up on top here. So those are the those are the colors I was using. Um, really pretty, love them. For my highlighter, still the Wet n Wild highlighter. I'm trying to hit pan. I'm getting really close. I think I don't know, but this is you know the color of it in the pan. And then when I swatch it, where's a good spot? I'll do it on my wrist. It's right here. Um, it's nothing too intense. I use a fluffier brush with it too, so it's not insane. But you can still see it. I think so. Yeah, that's my highlighter. Um, okay, so for setting sprays, I am finishing up. I seriously have like one use left in the NYX matte finish spray, so you won't be seeing this next time, but finishing that off, I really like it. I've repurchased it many times. Um, and then for my like final setting spray, I'm using the Urban Decay D Slick, um, so there's that. And then I have been using my finishing powder again. This is the Hourglass Dim Light. I kind of took a break over the summer, um, but I'm back to using it. So I have pan on it, but it's just a nice finishing powder. I like to use it, especially like in my T-zone, just dust it over, because I do use a lot of mattifying products, and sometimes it can make your skin just like a little bit dry, so this adds just a little bit like life back to your skin. So I really like it. It makes you look healthy. Um, okay, I have a couple of lip products, and then I'm pretty much done. So I always have, oh, at least recently, like I think I'm just going to plan on always having my Bite lipstick that I made in New York City um, when I went to the Bite Lip Lab in my bag it's just like my perfect go-to so i think i'm just gonna keep it in there um but yeah i'll like i'm running out of space um here i'll do a swatch on my wrist so that's it that's a bad swatch but that's it basically it looks really nice it's just a berry kind of everyday shade and then i've been using my bite sable 
but I, I've kind of been complaining that it's a little bit too pink for me lately so I pulled out my Jordana easy liner for lips in tawny which is my favorite um, and the combo is what I have on my lips today so I have this down I line my lips and filled them and then I put the sable on top and I absolutely love the combo so that is sable or I'm sorry that is tawny right there it's more of like a brownie nude I love this these are 99 cents go pick one up at Walgreens and then I have sable here which is down there God, these swatches suck I'm so sorry I don't have a makeup wipe so that's why um so yeah anyway that's kind of been my lip and then um I have my perfume here it's in this little spray it's the nest indigo which I put in my project use it up which I just did an update for um so yeah I just have this in my makeup bag so I remember to spray it on but yeah I like these little atomizers if you have like samples go get one of these this is from sephora i think it was like maybe like 12 bucks um worth it and the, or like if you're traveling you can just put a little bit of your perfume in here it's in a spray love it so anyway that's everything i have for you guys um i hope you enjoyed this video and yeah i'll see you guys in my next one have a good day bye